What it do, Libras? Happy Sexy Saturday. Get you some, get you some. It's your girl, Girl King. How are y'all today? Tongue twisted already. Somebody has been watching you, Libra, and the way that they see it, if they can't have you, nobody can. <laughs> so we're going to tap in today and check into the energies to see who this person might be. Some or all of these messages may or may not resonate with you in this current passage of moments. So please, if it doesn't ring true for you, Libra, then it's not what it do. Please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to all of my new subscribers, to all of my new viewers. Save these videos because they may resonate with you in a different passage of moments. All of my readings are timeless readings, so they will resonate with you when you do find them, when your intuition guides you to these messages. So, Angus, who is watching my readers? Who is this person? coming towards them we have the page of cups and reverse hmm, look at this already so offers being extended and i feel like you're not paying attention to these offers we have the two of wands in reverse so this person has been caught up in their head as i said earlier this person has been thinking about you and we have the little blue bird on their shoulder so they've been getting messages and hints, Libra, about you. Now, there could be people vying for this person's attention. Both sexes, it looks like. There could be both sexes vying for your attention. But I feel like you're enjoying your own pursuits right now, Libra. You're enjoying your own time, your own energy. And it does not matter who these people are coming at you. Now, someone has been trying to expose themselves. As you see, this feminine energy's breast is exposed. So something may be coming to light. The full moon is in the background. So something may have come to light wherein someone may have exposed something or you may have come into some information around the passing of this last full moon in Aquarius. So we have Aquarian energy popping up here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So you are working again, Libra, on building your house of cards, building stability. Some of you could be playing cards. But what Spirit is saying is that a lot of you are dealing with the right cards. You've been dealt the right cards or you're dealing yourself the right cards. You're stacking your chips. You're saving. And I don't just mean financially. You're saving your energy. You're saving your time. You're making wiser investments. A lot of you are investing loyalty into yourself. You're being loyal to yourself. You're being loyal to your purpose, to your process. Awesome energy, Libra. A lot is going to be coming up for you in the fall. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person, Libra, that is watching you, that feels like if they can't have you, Libra, nobody can. This person wants to come out of the cold. They're tired of being iced out. They feel like you're very defensive at this time. I'm hearing barking dogs. Some of you could have dogs. This person may be a dog owner. German Shepherd, Huskies. Hmm. So this person, again, is wanting to come out of the cold. Now, this person could be experiencing financial difficulties at this time. Something is not growing in the right direction. So there's a blockage to their money right now. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. And this person has been in mental confusion. There has been a lot of input into the actions of this person. Do you see all the people with their sticks in the air? Wanting to offer their opinions? Unsolicited advice I'm hearing. So this person has been receiving a lot of unsolicited advice. And that is what's been causing blockages for this person, not only in their ability to speak, but in their ability to manifest. That's because they've got everybody's cookie in their cookie jar. 
<laughs> I'm seeing the Cookie Monster on Sesame Street. This person may have children. You may have children. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person saw the happy home, the family, the dog, and the dog comes up again. But this person saw the future with you. They saw longevity with you. And obviously, Libra, you walk away from this person because this person is watching you and they are in the energy of if no, if I can't have you, nobody can. So you've already walked away from this person. Again, you are focused on the bad. You're focused on security, stability, self-love, taking care of oneself. You don't have times. You don't have times. You don't have time for people, places, situations, or things that are going to give you low ball, low grade, low vibrational energy. I'm seeing low hanging fruit. There's a line by that name too. Someone could be drinking, as in <laughs> the person drinking on this card. This masculine energy. So we do have a lot of earth energy out here. A lot of earth energy. The eight of pentacles, the five of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We're going to check in real quick and check and see what signs are here. Who else could be involved in this situation? So I do have some little cutouts of some astrological signs, all of them. So we have the Moon, sun, north node, and rising signs. So angels, who is this person that is looking at my Libra? Okay. What do we have here? So we have a Taurus sun. We have a Leo sun. There's that. Earth energy, Sagittarius North Node. We have a Libra North Node. We have an Aries North Node. We have a Scorpio North Node. We have a Capricorn North Node, a Gemini North Node. We have a Pisces Moon, a Scorpio Moon, a Libra Moon, a Cancer Moon, and a Leo Rising. Hmm. There is the Squad Collective. Let's find out what else is going on in this situation, Libra. So they want to go a new way because things are not growing or going in the right direction. So there's been a change of course. So something is currently under construction. I'm being shown a construction zone and construction cones. So orange and pyramids could be important. How is this person feeling about my Libra's angels? Not yet, angels. Not yet. Oh, <laughs> nothing will come of this situation. So there's the hint in the air that nothing may come of this situation. How is this person feeling about my Libra's angels? So we have emotions are running high, super moon. So what did I say about this full moon? Something just transpired. <laughs> Something may have been exposed about this person or about people, situations, places, or things that this person may have been dealing with around the Aquarius full moon that we just had, which was a blue moon. The second Aquarius full moon. We have have faith in your dreams, a waxing crescent moon. Yeah, you see your garden, your spiritual garden is flourishing, Libras. You see the butterflies, you were going through many transformations. You were growing, you were expanding, you were becoming wiser. See, 
Many of us have knowledge, but knowledge is nothing unless it is turned into wisdom. And wisdom comes from knowledge being put into action. And a lot of you Libras have indeed been putting in the effort to grow your own garden. You've gathered, you've amassed great stores of knowledge which you are putting into action. And that is wisdom, which is why you are becoming wiser, which is why you are able to see these low-grade, low-ball, low-vibrational offers from people, places, situations, and things. Far before <laughs> they come to disturb or fuck up your money, your security, your stability, your peace of mind. Now see, these stones in this picture look very heavy, don't they? But if you look very carefully, this gentleman appears to be placing that very heavy top stone very carefully. He doesn't look stressed. In fact, that very heavy looking top stone doesn't look very heavy at all in his arms, does it, Libra? That's because you are at peace, building your stability and security. And as such, you are not willing to allow anyone to come and fuck up the peace of your building of stability and security. We have adjustments are required. Yeah, this person had to go back to the drawing board because they were in two minds. This person had to get some downloads. And believe me, they've been talking to their angels and their guides have been talking to them. Because this person has put themselves in an imprisonment of their own mind. They did it to themselves, and I feel like they did it because they were playing games with you. See, these games that they were playing with you going back and forth, having you in two minds when you walked away, oh, the tables turned, Libra, and now this person is in two minds, having to talk to their spirit team to figure out what the fuck to do. Getting 38. So someone here could be 38. We have a fiery climax approaches full moon and Aquarius. This card has been haunting these readings for quite some time. Almost about a week and a half. So again, something has transpired around the last full moon. Aquarian energy, and now we have this fiery Aries energy. Because again, something was illuminated for this person. Something could have been illuminated for you, Libra. But no matter what has been illuminated, you are moving forward. A mirroring eye of the tiger. Someone here is born in the year of the tiger. Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Frosted Flakes, they're great. And that's what you are, Libra. You are great. You know it. And everybody else knows it. And here comes this fire and desire. It's approaching. Now, this person may be coming back to actually knock on your door. So you may be getting a surprise visit, Libra. Rice Krispies. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but anywho, powerful change. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Some of you Libras could be expecting a surprise visitor. Well, I won't say that you're expecting. I'll just say that a surprise visitor is expecting to show up on your doorstep. So shock and awe. Howard Stern says, something is being broadcast across the radio waves. 
So there may be a delay. So there's a delay in something coming in. Uh, a message, this visit. There's been a change in <laughs> the information this person is getting. So now, instead of this person getting all their information from the people around them, Libra, their friends, their family members, their co-workers, people they may have reached out to for help concerning this situation, they're no longer taking these people's input. So this is the powerful change that's coming in. So this person is now learning how to lean into the messages that was hard to hold on. So it's, it's been hard. It's been hard for this person to lean into accepting the information that they get for, from their spiritual team. So that's what the delay has been. This person couldn't come forward towards you or move towards you, not only because I feel like they had done you wrong in the past, which is why you moved yourself away from this person. But, but they weren't listening to their higher selves. They weren't listening to their spiritual team. They had everybody else in their ear and now they're willing to listen. It's taken some time. It's taken some time to distance themselves, to shut down their ears to these people speaking things to them, untruths, biases. What else is going on? Angels? So we have the energy is gaining momentum. I mean, how much good stuff can you take, Libra? We have emotions are running high, expect powerful change, and the energy is gaining momentum. I mean, if you don't feel the electricity in your own air, Libra, you air sign you. I know you do. I know you feel the electrical charge in the air. And I keep trying to tell you, Libra, that everyone else feels it too. You are moving in the energy of your own sign. And indeed, these powerful changes that have been occurring within you are now being manifested without you. Outside of you. See this black hole you had to go within. And because you allowed yourself, Libra, because you had the wherewithal, the audacity to go within, to face your own darkness, your own demons, to work on yourself. Now all of that love, that attention, that affection, that energy that you put into yourself is now shining without. And this is why everybody is attracted to you. This is why the energy is gaining momentum. A lot of you could be going through physical changes, changes in your diet, changes in your skin, your hair, your nails, changes in what you choose to encompass, to eat per se, whether you eat physically, mentally, spiritually, metaphysically, whatever it is that you choose to intake into your vessel, Libra, these changes that you have been making is what is allowing you to change levels in your ascension to level up. See what the guides have to say about this situation. And what's going on for my angels? My angel Libras. You guys are my angels. I love you. Have I told you lately? Has anyone told you lately, Libra, that they love you? If they haven't, let me be the first. I love you. Happy sexy Saturday. God dang, are you feeling sexy, Libra? You should be. We have Knights of the Round Table. Look at that. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Knights of the Round Table are chiming in, Libra. 
your spiritual team, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your spirit animals, your archangels are all chiming in to help you. You are King Arthur, be you masculine or feminine, sitting at the head of the table and the knights around that table, Libra, are your spiritual team. It says, let their love lift you higher. See, this person, <laughs> as I said, was being tempted by all kinds of people, and most likely by both sexes. They were having to lean into the teachings and the whisperings of their spirit team. And it took some time for this person to get used to listening to their spirit team instead of the very physical people that they could see and be near. See, these people that were always around them clamoring for their attention, always close by, always got their hand out. So you figured out a while ago, Libra, <laughs> to listen to your intuition, to listen to your spiritual team, to listen to your higher self. And so now this person is going through the very same lessons. Let's see what else is going on. We have dream redirection. What did I tell you about this person having to go back to the drawing board? <laughs> They had, they had to go another way because something wasn't growing the right way, so they had to go a new direction. Dream redirection. Redream this situation. Yeah, this person had to talk to their spirit team. They're like, what in the fuck is going on? Like, I thought it was going to go this way, and then it went left. And spirit team said, well, maybe you need to think about this shit again. <laughs> Maybe you need to rework some things about your plan within yourself so that you can get back on track, even if it's not with this Libra. So they are really trying to bring things into balance, right? <laughs> Libra, and who else to show them how to balance? but a balanced Libra. Let's be honest, Libra, not all of us are balanced. Some of us have our scales way off fucking whack. I mean, way off track. But this person is wanting to follow in your footsteps. They're tired of being stuck on the stump. Keep wanting to reshuffle, to rework, to replan, to reimagine this dream. Because I don't know why I'm shuffling so much. <laughs> I shuffle my cards a lot uh, before I start my readings. They are really trying to rework. What did I say about drinking? Divine drunkenness. It says, surrender to your spiritual reverie. We have 45, so nine, so at the precipice, a gateway. So they've been looking in the mirror a lot. I'm hearing Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. So they've been really working on themselves again. They see you building stability and security. They see you building it independently. As, as you notice, this gentleman has built this very fine, solid structure all amidst a storm. Have you? But building it by himself, his or her, herself. So this person sees you however they can see you, Libra, because again, this person is watching you. They see you building up your stability, your security, and doing it independently. Or so they might assume. I won't. <laughs> but they've been looking in the mirror. This person has been drinking a lot of tea or coffee. I'm seeing also beet juice. Hmm. So they're trying to get their health back together. 
So this person may have been drinking a lot of alcohol, but I feel like now they realize that there is a better way to feel that euphoric feeling that they used to get from drinking. I don't feel like this person feels like drinking is giving them that euphoric feeling anymore. See, whereas they might have used to go out and party and drink with their friends and get drunk and fucked up and black out. <laughs> yes, black out. That kind of drinking. They don't find the fun and the glamour in that anymore. So now they're getting that euphoric feeling from tapping into their intuition, their higher self, from communing with their spiritual team, talking to source. They have found a new reverie, a new euphoric feeling. So getting rid of certain vices. Which is why they want to come out of the cold because this person feels like, look, I'm not up to the old shits and giggles I used to be <laughs> up to. So can I, can I please come back in? Can you unlock the door? Someone got locked out. Someone may have gotten locked out of their vehicle. But they don't want to be out there anymore, Libra. Many of them feel like you are being super defensive, but it's not that you're being defensive, Libra. You are simply being protective of your energy, your time, your effort. We have where you are was where it's at, 14. Stay until you are divinely moved. So it appears that the divine has gotten involved. So the divine has blocked this person, Libra. From making any moves towards you. Because where you are, Libra, is where it's at. You are on track. You are on path. You are on purpose. You are doing what you are supposed to be doing. So the divine has stepped in to keep this person on the outs in order to keep you on the in, on the move, on the go, on the rise, on the glow. Do you understand, Libra? So Spirit said, no can do, do not collect $200, do not pass go. What else? We have well of a time, your charge is to enlarge again. Spirit is telling you, Libra, to keep doing you, keep enlarging yourself. Keep putting yourself out into the world. Keep working on your path, on your pursuits, on your passions, on your desires. What makes you happy, Libra? Because when you're happy, Libra, guess who's happy, Libra? The whole fucking universe. And why, Libra? Because you are the great equalizer. You are the scales of justice. That is part of your purpose. And so when you are happy, Libra, the universe is happy. And that's why at this time, it is your charge to enlarge, to keep on striving towards the pursuits that lie within your soul. Oh, it gets very deep. And spirit will continue to block those from you that come to disturb your stability and your security. Spirit will continue to keep these energies and these entities on the outs to allow you to continue on your path so that you ascend to the heights that you were meant to. We'll get one more card and we'll get you guys out of here. One last card for my Libra's angels. So we have never a crowd on the leading edge. Because that's where you are, Libra. Right on the edge of the leading crowd. It's you up there, alone, independently. 
But overstand, even though you may stand there alone, you are not alone and you will know exactly what I mean, Libra, because your spiritual team is around you 24-7, 366 on leap year. Someone here is a leap year, baby. But they have you all the time and all times from all directions, Libra. Lean into your spiritual team. Continue to do so. Because you will ascend to the heights that you were meant to reach. You do have a purpose. And I feel many of you know exactly what that is. Even if all the steps in front of you are not clear, you are aware of your purpose. Continue to step that way. Please like, share, and subscribe. Come on back and see your girl. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I am uploading new hotness for you. New energies. Because I love you. Libra. Have a happy, sexy Saturday. Holla at your girl.